Prince Park Rangers and Crystal Palace, a game with added spice of one sort or another. For instance, how will Palace approach an artificial pitch which acting manager Steve Kember thinks is, quote, a terrific advantage to Rangers, especially at this stage of the Cup? Then, of course, there's an extraordinary old boys reunion with players from both sides facing their old clubs. For example, Clive Allen, who left Palace last May and who's now rediscovering the goal touch which attracted the attention of so many clubs. Oh, what a good piece of skill. And he's still going, number six, Rhoda. Clive Allen, one of several players who in the past 15 months have been involved in transfer movement between Loftus Road and Selhurst Park. Really, it all stems from the fact that Rangers manager Terry Venables was in charge at Palace until returning to Loftus Road 17 months ago. It's no secret either that Rangers have expressed an interest in two more Palace players, centre-back Steve Wicks and goalkeeper Paul Barron, who this week accepted our invitation to illustrate some of the different factors involved in playing on the artificial turf. The approach of Paul Barron and Steve Wicks to playing on the Loftus Road pitch is sensible and positive. Given practice time, they attempt to make little modifications to their technique and quickly learn to cope with the differences between playing on artificial turf and on a more conventional grass surface like this. The goalkeeper Barron, seen at his best here, that includes some strange clothing as well. These are astonishing looking things for these shorts. Now, tell us about these. Well, these are <coughs> normal padded goalkeeper shorts, but the padding which goes in here is very, very lightweight. Well, I've never seen anything like that. I mean, where? Well, these are heavy duty judo pads that I've done in there. You've done all that yourself at your time, right? Well. A handyman with the old medium <laughs> pad? No, no, that's why my chair is stunning. But your hips really take a, a backing, so that, they're probably the most important thing. Um, these are, are just knee pads. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to actually wear those or not because I've already got the padding on the knees. But they're just an extra bonus. Are these not knee pads? No, no, these are elbow pads. Because as you know, when you when you land, the first thing that generally hits the ground is your elbow. So that 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 really takes a bashing, as the hips do. So they're important as well. Now the boot fall, obviously people at home don't see boot fighters often. They normally have the leather studs or they have the metal studs or they in fact they have a the rubber molder, but that's rubber molders are a different. Yeah, I think the only way to describe these is as astro boots, is what they're called. Um, you can use them in ice. They've got very, very small multi-studs. Um, they're unlike anything else. They're a little heavy, but apart from that, they're pretty much like a standard boot with a totally different sole. And finally, the gloves, which, uh, according to, well, wet or dry, does yeah. it vary on that as well? You have to take a couple of different pairs with you just to be sure you get the right one. But they're pretty standard practice now, so um, we know what we're doing. So I think the rest I of it's quite unusual. I think we should go out and uh, you can show us a few of the examples of the problems that you encounter. This is the first thing, but the way the ball skids off the surface for low shot. I've just touched a couple of In actual game situations, the low ball which drops short causes identical problems. Yes, as soon as you try and get your hands on it, it just slips away. Just gets there, yeah. yeah. And once I've hit the surface and whatnot, it's still got away there, That's isn't right. it? Right. Try a couple of bounces. Oh, okay. Reading the bounce of a downward header is equally difficult, as I'm sure Barnsley's Robbie Horn would be quick to testify. He went down low for a header that looked as though it was going to shoot through, and it bounced over the top. Well, you've got to expect the unexpected, really, Bob. There, there are any number of things that can happen on this surface. I think the one thing to remember is that any footballer would probably rather play on this than some of the six inch deep mud heaps and the icy frosty grounds that we play on sometimes. So thinking of it in those terms, then, then this is tremendous to play on. There are things that happen in terms of the goalkeeper that make it a little difficult, but apart from that, no problem. So for Paul Barron, it's a case of being as positive as if he were playing at Selhurst Park here. The question is, will his Palace teammates adopt the same attitude against Rangers? I think that's a definite possibility. We've got lots of excellent players at our club, international players, who would revel in the big occasion. Uh, I think it's unfortunate they haven't had a chance to, to play in so many recently. Uh, it might be that our form will turn around on the Cup. Well, while the FA Cup attracts...